First of all, thank you for the invitation. I want to thank the Hellenic American Chamber of Commerce, of course, His Excellency, Mr. Tunis, that he's uh, here. It's the first uh, time that we're in an official meeting, I mean, with uh, uh, press and uh, the people. And I wanted to welcome you in our country and wish you a great success uh, and the big responsibility uh, you've taken uh, represent the United States of America in Greece uh, as a person that knows uh, very well both of our beloved countries. And uh, I would like to say some words. First of all, uh, excuse me, I was uh, a little bit delayed. I came just from Thessaloniki. Uh, so, you know, the flights can be a little bit out of the program. Uh, but uh, I'm here to answer to any question. Just a few words in the beginning, and then I will answer to any question you may have. Uh, during my term, uh, the last three years now, there has been a significant improvement in U.S. presence in Greece. I have to be very honest. If in the beginning of my term I would hope or imagine that all, all these things would have happened in three years, I couldn't believe it. The truth is that after many years, the American presence in Greece is really very, very strong. Even just a few days ago, we launched a cooperation between Yekten and Hard Rock, for example, for the casino in Elinikon, which was a big success because, you know, they, this process had some ups and downs, but at the end, an American company uh, took over and uh, is uh, starting to build a fantastic tourist destination uh, in Attica and the Linicon project. But not only in tourism sector, which many other investments have already been done, some of them with Thames and Mr. Thodoridis and with other big companies, uh, but uh, in various sectors. Especially I would like to recognize the digital sector, which has really uh, made the difference. Uh, as a government, we worked in a very constructive way with the American government and the previous one and the current one. Uh, the first thing we did, we excluded uh, Greece from the countries that, that were blacklisted for the spiritual rights of uh, U.S. companies. Uh, we managed to pay all our debt and respect all their uh, spiritual rights. And uh, after that, we signed a deal with the U.S. government that encourages uh, U.S. Uh, business to come and invest in Greece in the digital sector. Uh, in between and after that agreement, uh, a lot of investment have already come. Um, I will tell you the most known of them. Uh, Pfizer, which was the first that came. Uh, digital Realty, uh, Microsoft, uh, Amazon Web Services, Deloitte. Uh, and uh, various others that are not so big, and some really big that will be announced, I think, until the end of the year, because we're in the process of another two very big good deals. So uh, there is a pipeline of uh, U.S. investments in Greece. The good thing is that the investors are happy about their choice. The country provides them stability, a very business-friendly government, and a labor force that has high skills in this area especially. We have a pool of labor force that uh, we haven't really realized in the beginning how useful it could be. The pool of the Greeks that left during the austerity measures and the bankruptcy abroad. Uh, many of them, when they find good business opportunities in Greece, they decide to come back. But in between, they have um, uh, got real big expertise and uh, they can uh, bring knowledge that we didn't have it in the country before. And of course, in the um, new partnership agreement in the RRF, we have a lot of money for reskilling and upskilling our labor force exactly because we want to be able to attract this kind of investment even more. So uh, in, in the business area, in the investment area, uh, we are trying very hard our relationship with the United States of America to be equal as they are in the political level and the military level, which I think it's better than ever now. I was reading that the uh, U.S. said no to uh, Turkey for the F-16, and uh, they are giving to Greece harpoon missiles, which was a big uh, 
easy for us. I was just uh, reading it before uh, entering the room. I don't know if Mr. Tunes has something to do with that, but if he had, <laughs> we want to congratulate him. So the main idea is, okay, we are best friends with the United States of America. There's no doubt about it. And uh, this is a friendship that stands on values, on history, and in, for the first time, big majority of our public opinion, which is uh, very important. We can build on this excellent relationship to tie our countries and the economic field as much as we can. The government believes in this area, and we're working in order to do it. Uh, I think that until the end of the year, we'll have, um, with uh, Mr. Jun, His Excellency, with my friend George, uh, we will finish the process of the LFC CPR with Onyx, which will be all, also a very big deal for the country. And we will continue attracting uh, FDIs from the United States of America. Uh, some small words about the direct flights I was uh, hearing before. Direct flights, of course, helps in tourism, helps in investments or also, because it makes us be closer to the United States of America and the United States of America be closer to Greece. I used one of these flights one week ago. I went to Boston with a direct flight. Uh, after 25 years, we had this flight again. It was fully, fully booked. It was so booked that I couldn't find the ticket to come back and I had to go through Paris, which was a terrible experience. Uh, I, and I was very happy. I was invited to a baseball game in Boston in uh, Red Sox. And uh, in the game, they were talking about the direct flight. They were promoting the direct flight. I was trying to tell them stop doing so much because there's no in any ticket left. Delta had decided in the beginning to put this flight for three months. Now they announced it for five months. And as they told me, most probably they will keep it throughout the year because it's so fully heavy. So we want more of these flights, Your Excellency. This is the important thing for us. Flights, tourist investments, will secure a very bright and stable environment in our relationship in the future. And most important, will make to our people visible how good it is to have this excellent relation with the United States of America. Because at the end, all these decisions we as government are taking pro-US decision has to be translated to the ordinary common life of the people of Greece to realize that being such a good friend of the United States of America is good for them also. It's not just a general good of the country. So thank you very much, and I'm very open to answer to any question. Thank you, Mr. President, and my friend Tim. Thank you very much. Anybody else? I, can I make a comment on what uh, His Excellency said? First of all, Greece is not Greece when uh, Captain uh, Vasilis Kondakopoulos started Costa Navarino. Thank God it's not like that. Of course, Captain Vasilis Kondakopoulos was a hero. He should name the national hero uh, uh, in, in future because if he was not so persistent and he hadn't this patience that I wouldn't have it also. Uh, uh, Costa Navarino has never been built it. And it's not only the revenues that the state would lose or the uh, labors that would lose. But Costa Navarino proved that it was wrong resisting in this kind of project in the local community. Because before Costa Navarino had started, in all the polls, the majority of the people in Messinia were against. And now, after 10 years that it's uh, working, the 95% of the popular opinion is for Costa Navarino. So Costa Navarino helped the country not only Kalamata or Pili or Messinia or Peloponnesus, but the country to be improved. And we own him for that. But Greece is not that anymore. It's in a much, much better condition. I'm not uh, saying we, we are not having local problems, for sure. We're living in a democracy, and you can always find someone that uh, uh, he wouldn't uh, want to work properly. But. If you want to build investment like Costa Navarino or one and only or four season or a big investment, I mean, with the laws we have now, you could bypass 100% the local communities because you will come to us, we'll give you all the permits central by the government, and uh, you, have, you have almost nothing to do 
the local mayor or the local prefector. This is a service we, we give through Enterprise Greece and the Ministry of Development. We are still very far behind the marinas area. I have to be very honest on that. Uh, thank you that rem reminding me that one of the first things I solved as a Minister of Maritime Affairs in, in Papadimos Garden was, this was the old Greece. Five years there was a law, and the secondary legislation was never issued after five years. Why? Nobody knows. When I was informed by Lambda Marinas, I issued in two weeks. They had lost five years with no any real reason. But this was the old Greece. Now we're much faster, but in the Marinas areas, we still have a big bottleneck. I'm working with the Ministry of Tourism to find a way out of that because I'm not happy. I want to go, I want to go much, much faster in this area. Greece has a huge potential in this area. We worked in the past together. I worked with marinas in the past and now. On the Ministry of Development, we want to work even more. This is an area we can expand ourselves hugely in the future. We have a big project in Rhodes Island, which goes very, very well, to be honest. And uh, we're working with Jorn, with Lambda in Elinicon also and everywhere. But there is a local problem, but not so big as before. And from the other side, I have to encourage all investors to find a way to communicate with the local communities. Because at the end, governments come and go. Investments will stay. You always have to find a way out to work closely with the local communities because this will uh, make sure yet that your investment will stay forever. Uh, but George, believe me, this new Greece that is starting to be built is much more different than before. People realize now that uh, having FDIs, it's good for the country. Okay, we will have still some bureaucratic problem or in our legislation and some decision of our high court and all this. There are in, 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 in process, but overall, the progress is really significant. This is the reason we are managing to attract this kind of investment. Uh, four season, one and only, Mandarin, Aman, W. Uh, I mean, there are a lot of brands that are coming now to Greece uh, that this is the tourist product we want, the high end, as uh, George, Mr. Krizikos said before, the high end tourism is what we seek for. Greece cannot attract more millions of tourists because our infrastructure cannot handle them. We want more high spenders tourism, and from that point of view, more American tourism, which are very good clients. I have to, I have to say that. Thank you. For sure, Mykonos Santorini uh, are a little bit bottlenecks of our tourist industry now. You know that with our law, we cannot take a new permit uh, license to build in these islands, only through the Eskase. Uh, channel, the big investment. The big investments, the Eskase channel secures sustainability. The main idea is that and this is the reason we are permitting it, because a big investment now would never just go to build. Uh, you could never attract the clients you want to attract in a hotel or in a resort that doesn't have sustainability. So through this channel, we secure the sustainability and the investments that are really uh, important to our country. Uh, yes, we are trying to find out new tourist destinations. Messenia is a new and a good example of that. Uh, 20 years ago, Messenia was zero. Now, the Messenia is a high end tourist destination and it's proving even more. And Mioni with Amanzoi and Gilada Hills is also another one. So, uh, we, we, are, we are going to that direction, but it's not only a matter of the government, the government can subsidize or try to make it easier, but it's more uh, an ambition of the private sector to look of new opportunities and to build them in that shape. With Grivalia, we are doing this kind of project, and I want to thank them very much, and my friend Prem Watsa, which I really like him very, very much, I have to say that. He's proved uh, as a real friend of our country, and please give him, me, uh, give him my greetings. So I have to go. Thank you very much. Because we have a discussion about fuel prices now in the ministry. So. <laughs> I, I just want to add one thing. I think we're framing this conversation.